G'day Playmates, uh, welcome back to John Company. hope you enjoyed Chapter 1, uh, which uh, covered the uh, family actions uh, and the chairman. Uh, we're now going to zoom in and look at the actions of the Director of Trade. But before I do that, uh, I'm a little bit remiss uh, that I missed out a couple of details in the first video, Chapter 1. And they were specifically the three family actions uh, shown here, enlist writer, enlist officer, and seek share. I'm going to cover those now because uh, this isn't going to be a long video. The director of trade doesn't take much doing. So let me just quickly go through these actions here. Uh, enlisting a writer allows you to place one of your family into any of the writer slots uh, in either Bombay, Madras or Bengal. Uh, as you can see there are already some writers there but they can be as many writers uh, as uh, players uh, want to put in there. Uh, so that's basically all that happens uh, in the um, enlist writer. There is one caveat as I zoom in here. If there are uh, when it comes round to the family phase, if there are four or more vacancies, you may uh, enlist a writer as uh, you may treat that as if you have the opportunity uh, to, to enlist a writer. It basically allows you to enlist an extra writer or a free writer if any of these bottom officers uh, there are four or more available. Uh, the next one enlist an officer basically you take your family member and it goes into the enlist officer box as you can see by that icon. Uh, essentially uh, you're destined for the army and the director of uh, military affairs will place you uh, into either the army of Bengal, army of Madras or the Army of Bombay uh, and you can earn a little bit of fame and cash that way and then the last one is seeking a share this is slightly more complicated but not by much essentially what you can do is you can seek to put uh, a, another family member into the court of directors you can do this by placing your family member in any slot above in the share market. You could pay five pounds to go to the front of the queue. You could pay two pounds to go to the back of the queue. What will then happen is uh, at the end of the family actions then company shares are done. And uh, what happens is we check to see if the company has got debt. And if the company does have debt a uh, a share a share can be placed out of the market into the box and it will reduce the company debt by one so that's useful for re reducing company debt and owning extra victory points at the end of the game everybody gets a victory point for the uh, for the court of, of directors. Uh, the only thing is that if if there are multiple units, in, uh, multiple family members in here and there are more of them than there is debt so you know let's say that uh, there was zero company debt uh, and there was a family member there uh, then what would actually happen is it would go t to the front of the queue to there until there were company debt uh, and then it would move into the court of directors. Okay, I hope that covers it. Now let's go into the director of trade which is run by the AI. Let's see what the AI is going to do. So, the director of trade, he does two things he may make special envoy actions and he will pay one pound 
per dice and if he rolls the dice and gets a success then he can open one order in a region not controlled by the company or he can open trade with China. At this stage of the game there's no point in opening trade in China because we won't make uh, any 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 money out of it it's not worth it at the moment but that may happen during the game. After he's done that he can then transfer two pieces. He can transfer ships between uh, portions of the Indian Ocean and he can order uh, and he can move transfer writers from one presidency to another. Uh, he can either do one of each or both of each but he can only transfer two pieces. Okay so what's all this thing about successes and rolling dice? Uh, okay here it is uh, let me go to my family board where are we okay so basically uh, when you roll a six-sided dice and it comes up with a one or or a two that is considered a success and that allows you to um, take the action that you dice that you you actually roll for. If you roll a three or a four, then that is uh, actually called a a failure. And with a failure, if you've got enough resources to pay for dice again then you can continue rolling so uh, if I paid a pound for a dice and uh, I rolled a four it would be a failure but if I paid another pound I could re-roll the dice and get a success the last two are fives and sixes fives and sixes like they're really bad they are catast catastrophic failures um, essentially when you do that you have to stop rolling dice uh, and um, with dire consequences generally what happens is that uh, if you if you roll a catastrophic failure uh, then uh, you will you will be removed from your post uh, from your office um, so here's the thing now because as you actually add more dice then your chances of success will increase so the more money you spend the more dice that you can add will uh, generate uh, better chances of success and as you can see here if you only spend one pound and roll 1d6 which is there you've got a 30 you've got a 33 percent chance of success you've got a 33 percent chance of failure but you've also got a third chance of catastrophic failure which is what you really don't want you don't want to get removed from your post for being an imbecile okay so if you pay two pounds and you roll two dice you've got an 11 percent chance of a catastrophic failure you've got a 33 percent chance of a failure because you always r use the lowest number rolled on all the dice just the lowest number so here if that was by itself it'd be a it'd, it'd be a, a catastrophic failure but because I'm rolling two dice and it came up with a, a four it is in fact only a failure let's roll it again 
here you can see a catastrophic uh, failure and a success that is the lowest number dice out of the group so that's a 56 percent chance in three dice so obviously you can see that the more money you spend the better chance you have of a success of rolling a one so here I spent four pounds and I roll four dice and as you can see we've absolutely blitzed it the lowest roll dice is a one uh, and you can see on four dice that'll happen pretty much 80% of the time savvy excellent okay so uh, the director of trade will pay a pound for each dice he rolls if uh, it's a catastrophic failure uh, that particular family member will get removed from the office and that office will be up for grabs in other words you're getting sacked for incompetency so if you're successful you can open one order in a region not controlled by the company or you can open trade with China we do we don't have looking at the map we don't have any uh, any company controlled areas they're all controlled uh, by the Indian community uh, we've only got a presence there so we better find out from the uh, good old chart uh, what happens if the crown is the director of trade okay so um, let's remember that we are checking the bull climate so if the crown is director of trade during the special envoy action the crown will take this action using exactly three pounds of available funds with priority going to the northernmost closed or order in the first priority region given by the current AI card not controlled by the company now that's an absolute mouthful so basically there are three regions so uh, and we've got to choose the northernmost region so first of all we've got to check priority uh, with the AI cards and we'll either be choosing Bengal Madras or Bombay well as it so happens the priority that this comp uh, that this particular AI card allocates is to Bengal so we check to see whether the northernmost order in Bengal is open or closed in fact it's open there isn't a closed marker on either of those so we now go to the second choice which is Madras and in Madras there are two orders the northernmost one that is is closed is actually to the south of the um, uh, of the uh, of the port so that is really the northernmost order so we'll be looking at opening that one uh, so uh, it, it's going to spend three pounds uh, they will skip the three pounds if uh, nothing is available and they will repeat that as long as there is three pounds available so uh, it could possibly open another order uh, in Bombay up here there could open that one uh, okay so uh, director of trade has got lots of money okay so what the director of trade is going to do is he's going to take let me just remove my dice from here for the start off let me stick that back there okay so he's going to take his three dice one two three and he's going to hope to roll a success he's going to spend three pounds one two three and he's going to roll and wow uh, okay 
uh, he's actually uh, actually rolled a, ca a catastrophic failure. So this is what happens. Let me just just group those. The director of trade is now sacked. Uh, so he is returned back to the AI and the director of trade is going to be available uh, as a vacant office. I'm just going to flip that and uh, I'm going to whoops I'm going to put that there and uh, that vacant office will be filled on the next turn during hiring. So uh, unfortunately there's nothing I can do about this using my cubes. Um, I could uh, force the crown to spend more or less money uh, and to optionally uh, skip the special envoy action but um, I I didn't want to do that because uh, I really thought that three dice would do the trick uh, because uh, according to this you've only got a four percent chance of a catastrophic failure and the lowest dice that we rolled was a five so hey that's the look of the game and the and the look of the game when you roll in dice so let me just move these guys up so obviously uh, the, the second part of the um, uh, the, the, the second part of the uh, director of trade uh, transfer is not going to happen uh, so he won't be transferring uh, any ships uh, or any writers well that's actually <laughs> gone a little bit shorter than what I thought it would do um, let's just pretend that the director of trade did actually manage to roll a success uh, what he would do is he would uh, according to this chart he would he would open the trade order here so he'd open that one then he'd spend another three pounds to attempt to open that order there with another dice roll of 3d6 so uh, okay short and sweet chapter 2 the director of trade I'll catch you on the next one which will be the manager of shipping <laughs>